already. All right. my children of the sun welcome to the open eye on whge 95.3 fm the advocacy education station i'm your third eye optometrist patrice Gibbs, ready to open some eyes because i got mine open before i came in yes i did that's where oh brother carrie brother carrie parson for you and for the other listeners that might have the nerve to call in. Our phone number is 844-944-3953. That's 844-944-3953. Don't be afraid to call in. I wouldn't do nothing to hurt you unless waking up hurts. I guess sometimes it do, don't it? Yes, it did. Look, let me get this, let me get this out the way here. Uh, Get that disclaimer out. There you go. You can get into the question. What's up? What's up? Now we want our sponsor to know where it's at. Any kind of WHGE 95.3 FM. That's right. You did the right thing. You tuned into the open eye. Yeah, you did. All right, all right. And as I always do, I'm going to start you off with some history. All right. You know, you got a lot of people that say, oh, well, you know, those that were participating in the civil rights movement, you know, they were soft and, you know, all this uh, nonviolent stuff and what have you and seeing kids and taking taking licks and what have you. Let me tell you something. Before the Black Panther Party, there was the Deacons of Defense and Justice. That's right. They wasn't fooling around. Let me tell you about it. On July 10th, 1964, a group of African American men in Jonesboro, Louisiana, led by Ernest Chili Willie Thomas and Frederick Douglass Kirkpatrick found the group known as the Deacons for Defense and Justice to protect members of the Congress of Racial Equality against Ku Klux Klan violence. Most of the Deacons were veterans of World War II and the Korean War. The Jonesboro chapter organized its first affiliate chapter in nearby Bogalusa, Louisiana. Yeah, that's really a place. Bogalusa, Louisiana, led by Charles Sims, A.Z. Young, and Robert Hicks. Eventually, they organized a third chapter in Louisiana. Deacon's tense confrontation with the Klan in Bogalusa was crucial in forcing the federal government to intervene, intervene on behalf of the local African American community. The national attention they garnered also persuaded the state and national officials, national officials to initiate efforts to neutralize the Klan in that area in the Deep South. Okay. The Deacons emerged as one of the, ver one of the first visible self-defense forces in the South, and as such, represented a new face of the Civil Rights Movement. Hold up, y'all. All right. All right, all right. 
Nothing could be further than this, from the truth. And as I said, known as Ramses the Great, the right. great ancestor, ruled for 66 years, and reverently referred to, as I said, the great ancestor. Ramses was the third pharaoh of the 19th dynasty of Egypt. He is often regarded as the greatest, most celebrated, most powerful pharaoh of the New Kingdom, itself the most powerful period of ancient Egypt. Buildings, monuments, and the best works of Ramses. He was well renowned as a great builder. Ramses the Great was vastly fascinated with architecture. During his 66 year long rule, he mastered, crafted, and rebuilt many monument structures and temples. Right? Okay. Two of his most well acclaimed works include the gigantic temples. Uh, uh, Abu Simbel and the Ranzania. Both these monuments boast of new style architecture when it comes to size, design, and complexity. What's more, the unique features that is common to both these temples is the giant statue of Ramses himself. The Abu Simbel temple was built in Nubia in the, in the southern Egypt, and its splendor can still be witnessed today. I've seen it. There are four massive uh, sculptures of the great Ramses at the entrance of Abu Simbel, each with an estimated height of 20 meters, that's like 20 yards. The temple was erected on the banks of the Nile River and was treated as Ramses' mortuary temple. Okay. The crazy thing is what? Europeans want us to believe that they came to Egypt and built some pyramids and great monuments and then went back to Europe and didn't bother to build a damn thing. Themselves. <laughs> Themselves. Okay. Egypt was building cities where, rent, where, where Rome was a built. All right. You know, of course, uh, I believe he is a fictional character, the character of uh, Abraham in the Bible, supposedly visited Egypt. Okay, so that was like some 5,000 years ago, all right? But when Abraham visited Egypt, it was already an ancient civilization. They already had cities where other people would run around in the desert and, and running around through the caves and, and forests of Europe. They didn't even have a window, right? To throw their stuff out of To throw their stuff out of <laughs> Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. Or a pot to pee in. Yeah, so they wasn't even wearing shoes. Sleeping with animals. Sleeping with animals. I mean, you know? And then the ancient Egyptians were building municipalities, bureaucracies, spiritual direction for their people. And what the hell? <laughs> Y'all got this fantasy that the Egyptians. We're not black people, not Africans. Lord have mercy, help me, help me, help me. Help me. That's what it is. And that's our history lesson for today. All right, all right. Well, there's a lot going on, brothers. A lot, a lot, a lot. A lot. What you got for me, back? Okay, let me start right here. In the last three months, okay, the U.S. Supreme Court has made the most regressive Socially damaging rulings since the 1800s. Toward the class. Or toward the society. I mean, period. the society period, yeah. but you know they're going to aim it at us. Uh, yeah. I mean, they've yeah. always worded broad, mm -hmm. but it always comes down to affecting only blacks. That's you know right. what I'm saying? So they always use that broad language to, mm -hmm. to bamboozle you. Oh, yeah. You know, that's crazy. You know, uh, of course, uh, yesterday, what? was a landmark decision the supreme court as as was you know planned as we knew was going to happen overturned Roe versus wade oh yeah protecting a woman's right to abortion okay our government is bold enough to force you to have a kid but too damn weak to ensure they make it to recess a lot or to ensure put insurance on them, <laughs> you know, and 
this is such a bogus government. Uh, the outside uh, world don't even believe in America anymore. Mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. know, our dollars can really be trashed. Mm -hmm. So, and like I said, in the, in the past three months, uh, they have passed the most egregious rulings that you ever wanted to see. Now, I understand the Supreme I Court. Why? Oh, we're going to get him. I'm saying that's crazy. The government can arrest and jail you. Okay, this is one of the, according to the Supreme Court, right? Without Miranda rights, execute you even if your lawyer screws up, force you to have a baby, and use tax dollars to support religion. These are things that they have passed that are now affecting our society. But they can't protect your right to vote or keep you safe from guns. Yeah, got it. I mean, you can send me to the army to fight for your war. But mm -hmm. you can't give me a gun to protect myself here at home? Well, no. They Oh, they can give you a gun. I mean, that's, that's what they were thinking. I nope. mean, it's responsible people out here that, that has guns. They ain't, that's not criminals. Mm -hmm. Everybody that carry a gun is not going to kill you. Okay? Right. okay? Don't let them get you with the narrative either. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, other, it's only criminals that don't abide by the law, period. Yeah. There's no, you ain't never heard of a person that went out and bought a gun that was responsible that got the gun to take care of their family mm -hmm. and they went out and shot up a supermarket. You have never in your life heard of that. Okay. Okay. That might and, be so. Now the gun isn't the problem. The problem is the person that's carrying the gun. If the gun is sitting on the table or the pistol is sitting on the table, it's not going to do anything to you. Mm -hmm. That's just like a vehicle. Mm -hmm. If somebody go out here and have a car accident and you kill somebody, you gonna ban cars. Hmm. Okay then, that's okay. The, it's the same aspect, but they okay. they well, the you know, for the real problem. The real problem is the people that take these guns have mental issues, and they they ain't handling or uh, attacking the problem, which is the mental issue. Why did he pick up the gun and go do that? Mm -hmm. What possessed him to do that? Mm -hmm. You know, the mm -hmm. medicine he on, the ABDT, all of, all the medicine they got him on, they're not going to say no stuff like that. They're going to okay. blame on everything else except the real problem. They've been doing it all our life. Okay. See? Here's the thing. What? That's the, what, you, what, what you basically say, and, you know, sum it up, is guns don't kill people. People kill people. No, dumb people kill people. Okay. Yeah. Here's the thing. Like I said, all right? These people that you're talking about have access, for instance, uh, the, the boy Peyton Grandin that killed the 10 people in uh, uh, Buffalo, New York. He got his gun legally. He was mentally ill. No, he wasn't mentally ill. He's not he mentally that. ill. He's a mental. hateful, racist, white supremacist. But you don't okay? think that's a mental, mental ill problem? You don't think but that's you know mentally? What? If it is, it's a, it's a common problem amongst white people. Yeah, they okay. a lot of them so, are mental to think that to think that just because a different color of skin mm -hmm. is what color is your brain? Mm -hmm. That's what you ask them. Uh, Nobody tell you what okay. color their brain is. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying that's what it is. That okay. is a have you ever seen the photo of uh, of a lynching where it's not the KKK, okay, but it's the white community. And their family and their children and their children and right. ice cream. So and all of them people want to get some barbecue black man. Right. They eat that. All them people are mentally ill. Yes. They standing out there looking at it. Mm -hmm. This 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 American society that's running this country, all of them were mentally ill. Okay. All of my society <laughs> is, is mentally ill. ill. I mean, not all. I know some white <laughs> like people that's not mentally ill that 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 has uh, responsibilities and mm -hmm. and have character. Mm -hmm. A lot of them don't. That's high up in their in, in their rankings or their hierarchy. They don't have character. They don't care about you. Mm -hmm. They don't care about no. They don't even care about their mom. Okay. They kill their let mom me, for let me that, tell you this. the insurance policy. Come on, okay. Yeah, you know. Okay. Right? Now let me tell you this. What you have places like Japan, right. Germany, right, Britain, right, and what happened. All these places had mentally had mentally ill people. All of them have racist, mentally ill people. Yeah. Okay? But they don't have mass shootings. Right. The reason they don't have mass shootings, because they have sense enough, their governments have sense enough to restrict how you gonna restrict, well, to, 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 to restrict access to oh. firearms that are nothing used hold up, hold but up, to destroy hold lives. Up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Go ahead. 
I got this for instance. Mm -hmm. This this is this for instance. Mm -hmm. How how they think? I got five six acres, and I live out in in the mountains. And I can't protect myself from a bear, a lion, a, a, a tiger, or whatever. Whatever come out there, I can't pull out a gun and protect myself. Come yes. on, man, y'all yes. crazy. I, I agree. I agree that, like that. that a, I agree with that. Problem. Okay. But when it's time for war, and you need to call on these things, and you don't have these these things because the government, the, it, how long it take for a person like you call the cops or you need them right now in an emergency? Mm -hmm. Call them nine one one. Boom. <laughs> Hello nine one one. Help! Help! Bam. Okay. How long do you think it'll take them to get to you from the, that point you call? Oh, is it more than thirty seconds? Is it more than thirty seconds? Be more than a half hour in the back. Okay, you listen to that. Okay, then. it takes. Okay, it, you only kill ten times, what, man. What, what? 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 We don't need are people that are racially motivated to have access to guns that can, can destroy multiple people in one in one minute. Yeah, well, we don't need that. But what There's they, no they, use for that. That person that. I'm saying, don't care about this law that you're talking about. Oh, they go get, them, don't. They go get the guns regardless. Why do you think they got them now? You think you know what to make a difference, man? For real. You know what? If they enforce it, they yes. with the real yes. people that's Let me tell you about, that wants to protect their Let me family. tell you about the effect the, of the working law. man that goes to work every day to protect his family and his assets, mm -hmm. and you telling him that he can't have the right to protect himself? You know and what? This, this is fake government. Is you crazy? And, and this is the thing. Are you crazy? Yes. Because if these people <laughs> enforce the law, okay, if they enforce the law, they and take... wait a minute, and, and protected people like they should, but it's still okay, he won't need an AR. What the hell, an 18, wait a minute, what the hell, an 18 year old, he gonna carry it in the what sense a, when he goes to what, what the hell does an when, 18 what the hell does an 18-year-old need with an AR-15 semi-automatic that can be uh, uh, manipulated to automatic? What an 18-year-old okay. need with a car? What an 18-year-old need with a car to get around? Okay. Hold, hold, hold up, hold up. That's, a, that's, a, that's, a, phony, that's a phony uh, uh, but, analogy. You know, that's not, yes, it is. Man, it is. Not. It is a phony analogy that's because not. a car is something you a get. Car don't kill it's people. a privilege. A car don't kill people. Uh, it's a, a car privilege. doesn't kill nobody. I no, never no, said no, that. No, no. A car is it's a, a privilege. Answer the question. Yes, a answer car has question. killed people with answer irresponsible. A car has killed okay, people then. with a it's irresponsible. It's a big it's irresponsible. It's gun irresponsible gun owners. Gun owners. Gun. It's irresponsible yes. laws that allow gun owners who shouldn't have them with no background check with no mental check, okay. and now the Supreme Court has ruled that you don't even need a license to carry a concealed arm. Of arm. course you It's going to be worse than the rock. Oh, no. Oh, the Supreme you, Court you, like, just ruled. You guys to pull up on you, and they have bats and bricks and stuff like that, and then you have your hands. Mm-hmm. And you wouldn't want a gun. At of course, that I would want a gun. Okay, then. That's, that's the but, point. But that's, that's what I'm talking about. Missing, that time right missing, there brother. is what I ain't talking about. No, period. no, no. That what you're not, not listening to what I'm talking about. I understand. I, I hear you saying about self protection. The Second Amendment is nothing but a scam on yeah. people. It's a scam. No, Second yeah, wait a minute. Let me explain why it's a scam. It's a scam because it was implemented. One to specifically arm white men against black men. It is not something that we the, are going to be a part of. Amendment, first of all, is a universal right. I no, have the it's right not. to protect myself. Period. No, it's not. And you have the right to protect yourself, it. but it's not a universal no, right. You have the right as a human being to protect yourself. Yes, it, you have the okay, right to protect then, brother, yourself. Have a, brick, okay. a knife, but, a car, a chair, a mic stand, without a, this radio stereo thing that hit you in your head, it don't matter. If I have to protect myself in an instant, whatever the tool may be to do it, is I'm going to use, man. Okay, I okay. understand that. I understand that. But that brings me back to you don't want to ban the 
Uh -huh. You want to ban knives? If everybody no, was getting stabbed, you go in the you go to the supermarket and, and every and the dude run up and stab and, 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 and these things. Now, now they want to yes, they want to be able to protect yourself, brother. Right, but man, come on, like man. I said, don't fall. For like that. I don't said, fall for that. no, don't you fall. You was in the don't you fall. You want to go? Bro, well, well, hold up, brother. When I was in the service, of course I was in the military. That's the military, brother. That is how people walking around the street. We are What you're not understanding what? is sick people out here having access to firearms and running up in schools and killing uh, 19 children. Why? Or, wait a minute, why wait a minute. School, they didn't have the guard at the. At the come on, man. Uh, when they do have the guard, they are not under that. How did he get in the school on the premises with that? They got cameras for when you come steal their hubcap all okay. day fired. Why did they can't why see did a they in the Listen up, brother. AK Listen up, brother. Listen yeah, up. Man, come on. Man. Listen up. Racist bigots and cowards. Definitely. That's that, why I definitely that's that. why, that. why, that. that. why they don't have the gun laws that they should because they're a bunch of racist, bigots, and cowards. Okay? Right. Filled with hate. Right, giving people access to guns that shouldn't have access to guns. I understand protect yourself, but let me tell you about America's law. What? With a quote from Malcolm X. Okay. Malcolm X on second class citizenship and how the Civil Rights Bill wasn't made. Okay, break down second class citizenship because a lot of people don't know what is a second class this citizen. Is, you're black blind or out. white? And, oh, they black. Okay. okay. Then, let me break right. this down. If white people really pass meaningful law. It would not be necessary to pass any more laws. First of all, they need to pass oh, 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 the KKK. Let me finish, let me and that hasn't quote, been brought to the fact. Let me finish so, the quote, brother. Let me finish okay. the quote. There are already enough laws on the books to protect an American citizen. You only need additional laws when you're dealing with someone who is not regarded as American citizen. But whites are so hypocritical. They don't want to admit that this black man is not a citizen. So they classify him as a second class citizen to get around making him a real citizen. The second if he was, wait a minute, if he was a real citizen, let me finish this quote. If he was a real citizen, you need no more laws. You need no civil rights legislation. Civil rights is when if you have civil rights, you have citizenship. It's automatic. White people don't need laws to protect their citizenship to protect their citizenship because they're citizens. But they don't want us, we're not citizens. And at the same time, they don't want to pass laws that are meaningful enough to protect us. For instance, the George Floyd uh, Civil Rights Bill, okay? As if we were citizens. And the Supreme Court desegregation to citizen is the best example I know of this hypocrisy. Mm -hmm. That's a law from the Supreme Court. Ten years have gone by with no desegregated schools. It hasn't been implemented beyond, I think, 9% in 10 years. So this just shows you the hypocrisy of the American white man. They talk out of both sides of their mouth. There is nothing the white man will ever do to bring about true sincere civil rights for the black man. And for that reason, for that reason, my question is, wait a minute, okay. for that reason, because they will never bring about real laws to protect the black man. Okay, you okay. Said for that reason, yes, righteous black people should be able to protect themselves. I just told you about the deacons of defense, okay. where some white people run up in your community. All right, All right. They, 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 but they, they, at the same time, uh -huh. remember that having white people have access to guns like AR-15. What is, why do people keep acting like AR-15? you know what that stands for? What does it stand for? The guy's Automatic name. rifle. No, it does not. What's it stand for? It stands for the guy's name. The guy's name is Akatafi. Okay, that doesn't matter. matter. It, it, that really but doesn't she matter. Matter. She's the switch of it. They it say it stands not. for assault rifle. They say it stands for all kind of stuff. Whatever it stands for, it's a whatever it stands for, it is a weapon of destruction. So I guess it's meant to kill. Is a weapon of destruction. 
No, my G outside. It can be used. It, 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 it could be used. It could be, but yes. that's ridiculous. No, it's not. Yes, it you know, is. You're comparing, over. you're comparing you're know, oranges to apples. apples. I'm, I'm comparing the situation. And the you're forgetting that not you're not dealing with they both animals. Fruits. They both fruit. So what are you saying? They Why would you be an animal access to a weapon that is going to destroy your own goddamn community? How do you know it's an animal until they bite you? And, and, you know, like, oh, oh, and let me tell you this. What? If he white, the chances are he said, I can't handle it. I missed the boots. But yo, listen, bro. Listen, bro. And society, it has no bearing that we as black people hang, torture, and kill people. No, we're not, no. We're not into that. No. Okay? No. So they come with their. Mm -hmm. Guns and pistols and whatever, mm -hmm. and we got sticks and rocks. Mm -hmm. So you would want to not get physically ready or get get kill them, pick up their guns and start using them on them. You wouldn't you wouldn't think like that in in a war. Of course, not. all right. Then we are at okay. war. You act like this. this yes, we are war. at war. You see the laws that here's here's you what you're missing, you missing, bro. Here's what you're missing, bro. The militia is us. We, we are, are the not the militia. The people you were never intended to be the militia. We are the militia. No, that's crap. That's a con, brother. How's that? That's a con. You don't want to you yes, to, of course okay, you want to protect take your yourself. militia. Oh no, it does not. Okay, it does not. A militia by the Second Amendment was never meant to be the general public. Okay, I explained that to you a week ago. I, I'm saying, I'm wait a minute, saying that. wait a that's, minute. That's not wait, what I'm not, whoa, whoa, I'm whoa. Not, I'm not doubting that. That's not what I'm doubting. Okay, I'm, I'm doubting they put that in effect for them, like you said, mm -hmm. because they thought we wouldn't be able to breathe. Okay, okay. now that we can breathe mm -hmm. and we understand and we can read the Latin that they try to hide on us mm -hmm. and with this special language with these spells that they're putting on us. Mm -hmm. All right, now we can read and apply their same language and their same stuff to ourselves. And we got a problem with that. Here's the problem that I had, brother. And what you missed. But here's what you missed. All right. What I missed. My stance is if we allow these white supremacists access to weapons on that level, okay? Our job is to even the playing You ain't got no. Wait a minute. You ain't got no. You're not listening. I am. You know you're not. Because our job is to even the playing field and deny them access to weapons that we don't have access to. They got them to. already, Pat. They got them already. Oh, but right, look, man. they had them in Germany. They had them in Japan. What happened? When they had mass shootings, they said, oh, wait a minute, okay? We had 200 and something mass shootings this wow. year. Wow, 2 million people. 200 and something. Out of 2 million people in the world. Are you kidding? 200 people. Okay. How many, many mass shootings? shootings? How many mass shootings have they had in Japan? I'm kidding about this. No. No, you're confused. Which, which you need to care about is the examples that were already set. The example in Japan. How many mass shootings they have this year? Zero, because they have restricted gun laws huh? to protect their own damn citizens, so you're telling which me the Americans will up, not up, do. Up, up. So you're telling me, in Japan, mm -hmm. there's no criminals with guns? I'm, yeah, that's, I'm telling you that. Get out of here. Man. I, you, you look it up. I wouldn't, tell, I wouldn't tell you something you're I didn't have to see. That there's no criminal. How many mass shootings Japan that they had in Japan? Guns. How many mass shootings have they had in Japan this year? Uh, None. None. Oh, yeah, the Yakuza got guns. We know that. But the Yakuza, just like the mafia in the early days. You say they don't got it. They don't got it. I said, the, of course, Yakuza's ain't killing nobody with them guns, man. They're not doing they're mass not shootings, and they're not shooting in the race. Okay, you need to do some research, brother, because they're not killing on race. That's what happens here. I know that. That's, okay. I say that then. Okay. They, they have guns. They are doing that. Yeah. They're not killing for racist acts. No. Okay, then. It's America business. Does. America does. It's business. America does that. Okay. America don't, Just oh, like the mob. Hold the on. The mob this one, people this one because it was business. This one question. This one question. Okay. This one question. Okay. So now we're going to cut all the trees out of the world because we was hung on them? Because we was what? 
hung on the tree. That's ridiculous. Once again, and take once again, thing. brother. They, they once again, trees, brother. Us, once again, brother. They use trees you are comparing apples to oranges. Ain't nobody <laughs> take no tree and cut it down and back somebody upside the head. They don't put you up on it and hold okay. it from They could have hung so you. They could have hung you, hung you from a fence. fence. You're not going to take that they tree They could have hung you from a fence, brother. My thing is, you can't how say you saying trees are the problem. Right. How are you saying this? Guns are the problem. Guns are the problem because of the access. That sick, they got access to trees all over the world. Look, look, without a rope, a tree ain't a damn thing. They oh, use their pants and they have, they have come up with an idea to kill you. That's how much hate they That's have. That's how much hate they have. Don't get twisted. Of course not. I okay. Stop acting the like thing that. It, no, no, you stop acting like <laughs> it's okay to give racist, sick people weapons to kill our people. I, I said okay. give them weapons oh. to kill our people. I oh, said, if you don't get restricted, get our weapons. Go get your weapons. Go I understand. Them. Go get your weapons. I'm saying I'm not okay. worried about them. They okay. already don't put us with them. I don't care what they do, what they say. Or so you want, society, you want a society? You want a society of wild, wild west. west? You want a society of wild, wild west? Nah, it's responsible. Only guy got guns. Let's shoot it up. I, I don't have my I don't have my thing for about four years. I ain't shot nobody. What I had mean? mine for twenty five. I, I ain't shot nobody. I'm saying so. Stop talking like you gonna go out there and kill somebody. I'm not gonna go out there and kill so somebody. I'm gonna protect my owner. But protecting you there are too many irresponsible. There are too many. Got two hundred irresponsible. There are too many. Two million. Okay. Okay. Two hundred ill so you people. So you expect that two hundred ill people? Two hundred ill men. Two hundred people, people. 200 Ill men, Ill, 200 people to change a whole other million people's situation on their dumbness. It's come on, man. Yes, when their dumbness, dumbness so, brings about, but yes, it's only two hundred people. Act. Out of two, two million look, people, you only got one percent of the. Get rid of the you got one percent of the black population involved in crime. Right. They would give you the impression that eleven percent of the population, which is black people, are the people that are responsible for all the crime. But not, and that's not, not, only, so. that, not only that, you're saying these mass shootings. How many of them were black? Not all right, right then. How many okay, other victims then. were black? That's all we have been through our society. I mean, throughout history, it's victims. Right. Aren't you tired of being that? Oh, okay then. Aren't you That's tired what you of seeing yourself. children? You don't want no aren't you tired of seeing children murdered by people when by uh, white so, people? Yes. By, by white the government? People. Yes. So by police, why yes. are you supporting allowing these, these people that have access? To weapons that are destroying our community. Because you can't, that's something you can't stop. It is something you can stop. You can't. But we won't stop it because one, what? The politicians are owned by the NRA. What is the NRA? The NRA, which is called the National Rifle Association, okay. is the National Green Neck Association. And they pay off our government to, a, and they're not interested in your right to bear arms. No, they're they're interested they in your right to buy arms. Oh, yeah. It's for profit. And their blood oh, on their hands, body. and any goddamn body that supports Ooh. that crap got blood on their hands. It's the uh, open well. eyes. <laughs> it's the open eyes. I guess I got blood, blood on my hands. You too. Brother, get some bleach. <laughs> <laughs> get some bleach. Uh, yo, yeah, open up the radio. Yo, y'all want to call in on this subject? 844-944-3953. Don't be scared. Come on, Don't man. Don't be scared. What's up? What you got to say about this? Hit me up on Instagram. I mean, on uh, Facebook. You know what's up. That's word. The open eye. Uh -huh, uh -huh. No Sir Roman Patrice Gibbs. Getting it in. Yo, he's going in right now. Do you hear him? Yo, hey, <laughs> Vando. Hey, yo. Hey, 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 boy. Kisa, Rochelle, hey yo, Sorry, slaughter, what's good? You know what I mean? Hey yo, man. <laughs> you better get some arms, get a knife, you get your vehicle. I mean, it's getting ready to go down, you know. And, and if you ain't prepared or understanding that this may can happen to you, and, and you're not prepared, you're gonna be a victim. Do you wanna be a victim or the threat? That's what they always say when you or in a situation. So which one do you want to be? The victim or the threat? Right? That's simple.
Because it's going to happen. America is built on that same thing throughout the 400 years that it's been in existence. So tomorrow, it's not going to change. So once again, do you want to be the victim or do you want to be the strike? We can talk a lot, but history shows the truth. You can say a lot, but history shows the truth. Period. The HTE 95.3 FM, the Urban Eye. All right, Mr. All Gibbs right. in the building. Yeah, this is all. Oh, yeah. This is all. Oh, yeah. oh, my now look, I'm gonna, this was the last thing I'm gonna say on this. What? Right? Remember when the Black Panthers mm -hmm. were carrying arms? They saw all them black people. They had a problem with that. They had a problem with that, uh -huh. and they instituted gun restriction laws. That, that, Why that, though? Why? Because black people had problems. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Exactly. Yes, indeed. As long as we're unarmed, we we're we not a threat. Yeah. Right? No, that's not true. What? No, that's not true. They, they, no, they feel like we that, are right? even on arm. Right? This is a threat. Remember, that's the melanin, the the melanin, the melanin is, a threat. is a threat. Yes. Yeah, I mean, okay, yes, if we, I'm will, we melanin, are a threat. What about this scenario? If I'm with your melanin, your melanin, and I pull up on you and I say, uh, come here, boy. Right? Oh, you in trouble, right? <laughs> okay. You were right there. I got three other, four other people with me. Yeah. And they pointing hammers at you. No, they let me turn this at you. Let me get it out. Okay. I come up to you, mm -hmm. right? And go, I want your melanin, boy. Mm -hmm. And you only got your popsicle you was walking up the street with and your potato chip bag that you had. And, and, and they say, come here. Mm -hmm. Let me so tell what, you. What you going to do in that let situation? Me, let, me, let me tell you an example. Something that I actually experienced. Okay. Racism, and bigots, and cowards. Oh my! Don't forget that. Okay. Okay. I was sitting on the bus stop. Right. On oh, Market and Ship. You know where I used to live at. Hey. Okay. Hey. I was sitting on the bus stop there. By myself. Okay. Three white dudes pull up in the car and tell me, "Hey, boy, you in white boy territory?" N word. Okay. okay. Right. I stood up and said, "Get out the car." And they put me on. They took off. Racist, biggest, and cowards. Oh, that's that's they why they need AR-15s, because they're a bunch of racist, biggest, and cowards. Yeah. Yeah, that's what. Look, let's get back to this. Uh, my cousin, Devana. Devana, what's yeah, up? Pass this on to me. All Thanks, right. Devana. Okay, and this is from a Methodist pastor named David Barnhorn. All right. The unborn are a convenient group of people to advocate for. They never make demands of you. They are morally uncomplicated, and unlike the incarcerated, addicted, or chronically poor, they don't resent your condescension or complain that you are not permitted to correct. correct. Mm -hmm. Unlike widows, they don't ask you to question patriarchy. Unlike orphans, they don't need money, education, or childcare. Unlike aliens, they don't bring all the racial, cultural, and religious baggage that you dislike. They allow you to feel good about yourself without any work at creating or maintaining relationships. Uh -huh. And when they are born, you can forget about them because they cease to be the unborn. You can love the unborn and advocate for them without substantially challenging your own wealth, power, or privilege, uh -huh. without reimagining social structures, apologizing, or making reparations to anyone. They are, in short, the perfect people to love. If you want to claim you love Jesus, but actually dislike people who greedy, prisoners, immigrants, the sick, the poor, widows, orphans, all the groups that are specifically mentioned in your Bible, okay. they all get thrown under the bus when the are born. Because the Bible was supposed to be written by a white man. Okay. okay, so why that thing right there? Is, well, it's see, a lot the of, point it's is, a lot of, what you call it? Um, <laughs> it's a lot of contradiction. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. And and yeah. that, but they're taking feed that to us throughout our ancestry. Listen, this is a book you read, boom, boom. Mm -hmm. Read the kids in school, mm -hmm. all of that, if you, and if that's being done to you for twenty years, now you're indoctrinated. You know, well, pass see, the to point, kids and, and on, go on and on like mm -hmm. that, right? Like the point is that it's easy to protect the unborn because they don't demand anything that cost you anything to protect the quote unquote unborn, okay? And this is about abortion. 
Okay. Yeah. And they they yeah. they trying to tell them that they can have abortion. Right. 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 That's what. And now what they really want to do, what the Republicans want to do, all right, what? is they want to make this nationwide. Because what they what overturning Roe versus Wade does, it gives states the permission to implement the, the, the draconian anti-abortion laws. For instance, see that's a, not not to cut you off, but that's what they do. They go, okay, you can have this, but we don't do this. Mm -hmm. And and this over here still does something to make that not work. Yeah, you understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alabama, for instance. Now, when will these anti-abortion laws be implemented mostly in southern states? Immediately. Okay. Right. Alabama passed a law which they're going to reinstate. Okay, because it was overtime in 2019. This is how crazy this law was. Okay. okay. If you as a woman were raped and got pregnant, you uh, still gotta have a baby. You still gotta have a baby. That's what, and if you try to abort that baby, you can go to jail. You're going to jail for 25 years. Come on, man. And if you're the doctor who and performed baby. that uh, abortion, what? You're going to jail for 99 years. Now, guess how much time the rape is getting? Five to ten years. See, this is how sick these people are. Exactly. That's exactly. It. And that's what they want to make that's what I mean. And that's what I mean. Mm -hmm. These are people that you're dealing with, and you don't want to protect yourself from these people. You know what? Here's I'm, the thing. I'm, I'm, I'm not Here's explaining the it because they don't make it seem like it can get worse. They have to die. Okay. But the thing about protecting yourself from that, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. We, we live in a society that supposedly. Supposedly, supposedly. Okay, I'm making sure I heard okay. that. Correct. Like other governments and other places, you know, we are mass humans in Africa, most African countries. Okay. See, because they had sense enough to know not to give weapons of mass destruction to regular citizens or to sick ass citizens who have generational illness of racism. Here in America, but everything goes. I, I think like this, and it's only me. Mm -hmm. If let me see how I can say this. If if you got uh, no, no, I'm a, I'm gonna think a a, a a nicer way to say it. So go ahead to the next day, Bob. <laughs> I gotta think of a nicer okay. way. Okay, I'm still only dealing with this abortion thing <laughs> because they're not done. See, abortion was just the first thing on the table, all right? You know what Texas already put on the table? Voting Rights Act, okay? That's going to be followed by the Civil Rights Act. They're going to ban interracial marriage. I don't really give a damn about that. It doesn't affect me. They're going to ban... What do you see? What do you see in this process of them banning? What do you see? And what do I see? What is the whole picture that they're doing? The whole picture that they're doing is turning our society into a society that instead of being ruled by the uh, 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 majority opinion of people, we are being ruled by a small group of people, okay? And, and I, this small group of people, okay, control wealth, control of, look, you were not meant to spend your life working yourself to death, okay? Remember that these corporatists are fascists and always have been. All right, their mission is to get politicians in their pocket so that they can pass laws that enslave you, that you don't own your own time. Because the height of freedom is on your own time. Right. And when your time is spent dealing with nothing but survival, you don't own your own time. See, this is the culture that they came from, and it's about culture. Okay, because they came from a culture in Europe, European and Americans, okay, where you have to compete just to eat. We, on the other hand, came from a culture where there was plenty and we shared and we shared and, and we had time to advance our society, right? Which is why we had cities thousands and thousands we of years where we taught the European savages. You are not savages. Okay. But we're living amongst savages. Right. Okay. Savages is controlling this uh, so-called uh, world. Mm -hmm. I mean, this so-called government. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And when we're dealing with these savages, mm -hmm. then, uh, 
We can't go up to them with a kidney going here, Mr. Savage. Oh, don't put a piece of kidney on that, bro. Please, please don't put a piece of kidney on that brick no more. Right. Right. Okay. But here's the thing. Here's the thing that Malcolm said. Okay. Malcolm said. If you want somebody speaking fire to your ass, you can't speak French to them and expect to be understood or affected. Okay? So I understand what you're saying, brother, when you say protect ourselves. Not by only, all not means, only, not only the by firearms, all means. It's, it's deeper than firearms. It's, it's not even about the firearms. These laws that they put in an effect, you think they're going to apply that to white people? You think they're going to apply these have laws? Have effort. Of course not. Okay. They, okay. They not, it's a whole... It's a whole uh, behind the scene thing that's going on here they trying to bring us as black people back to slavery exactly to all of these in, injustice mm -hmm. decisions mm -hmm. that's being made now mm -hmm. you may not see let me ask you this, bro. in 20 years let me, let me if they're going to this. apply this to the, the the next generation yeah yeah we are well, let, me, let, me, let me ask you this bro okay if the government comes after us they came after us. They after us right now. But no, they, but they, they came, really came. Uh, after let me okay. Let me put it like this: If they implemented Rex eighty four, right? Okay, Rex eighty four. For those of you who don't know, okay, the King Alfred plan is the plan to tamp down the black community if we decide we're going to go off. Okay, that's that's what the King Alfred plan is. All right. If the government decides to implement the King Alfred plan, do you think you have it? A uh, uh, weapon is going to be able to protect us or stand against that. We can fight. I'd rather die with a weapon in my hand than be a slave on my knees. I understand. Yeah. But how about this? For okay. Me, for me. Okay. How about this? Okay. I don't want to die. I ain't got no martyr complex, and I don't plan they on dying they come for these damn you, people. They coming for you. They, they been, you have a choice. They've been they, after my family since I mean. the 1920s. But, no, that's okay? what I'm but I've been smart enough to expose them. And so that they, you know what? We yeah. had something just just today. Um, I had posted something about Leopold of Belgium okay. on on you know on Facebook yeah. or whatever. Okay, Leopold of Belgium, Belgium. Uh, was the European country that held the Congo in colonization and slavery. Right. Okay, which is why I am named Patrice because Patrice Lumumba was the leader who freed the Congo from Belgium. Okay. When I was in the Air Force, my second base was supposed to be in Belgium. Okay. I got called in and I was asked, where'd you get the name Patrice? Oh, my mother named me after Patrice Lumumba. That afternoon, they counseled they counseled my orders to Belgium. And no, we ain't sending him over there. So He's even gonna kill somebody. That? Why I think that because yeah. my name was Patrice after the Mumba, whom they feared enough to kill and melt in a bad acid with only his tooth left, with the goddamn Belgium Ooh. still had. Now, how vicious they are, you don't want to protect yourself. I did not say that. that. No, I, just, I, I, did, I, I never said that. Yeah. I never said I didn't want to protect myself. <laughs> what I said is I don't want to be in a society that allows access of guns to people like Brandon Gray or with Peyton Brandon or uh, Kyle Rittenhouse, who now has a video game talking about shooting people. Nah, the hell out of here, man. Black video game. He's shooting black people in the video oh, game. Oh, well, what he's doing is they can't just come out and do that. Well, what he did is he, he's shooting, quote, unquote, liberals. And those against the larger white society. Well, well, look at it, bro. Go ahead. It's 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 this that makes me think extra hard. Mm -hmm. In this society where they take in, okay, the civil rights, for instance, mm -hmm. and they let in all kind of people jump on the bandwagon of civil rights. Civil rights is a strictly black. Uh, Thing. Struggle. Right. Mm -hmm. it's, it's for the black people, mm -hmm. strictly, mm -hmm. for their whatever they went through. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And now you got the midgets and the LGBTs and mm -hmm. all these other people that's trying to jump on that that particular mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. that don't apply to them. Right. And they put that in forefront. Like that's 
for them, and it's not. No, it's so, not. And nobody but that, that, that it gets knocked out the real purpose of things, mm -hmm. and that's what America does. They uh, apply other people, give out our stuff to other people, mm -hmm. uh, grants and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So we won't be or get a hit. How can you tell somebody how your boots got so? We ain't got no boots, and that's what that, 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 that's what's that's what's happening right yeah. now in 2022. Mm -hmm. How is, how are we mm -hmm. as black people who sit and look up to them white people to mm -hmm. say, "Yo, I need this. Give me a job. We can create our own job. Mm -hmm. We can do our own thing, mm -hmm. and then don't be a part of them." You don't hear Italians going, "Hey, white man, can you help me?" You don't hear that. Well, you know, you it's just something that I'm going, "Hey, white guy, hey, mm -hmm. white man, can we do this? Can mm -hmm. you help us?" Can you don't hear them doing that exactly because, well, because okay, non-black groups have become honorary white. Right. Okay. Now, let me get my rant because it goes right, right in line. Right. Oh, yeah. It goes right in line. He has to help the day. Yes, Lord. <laughs> Dr. Clark teaches us, trust no one. You looking for a friend, look, again, man. trust no one. Yeah, okay. You looking for a friend, look in the mirror. If that face in the mirror is not friendly, you ain't got no friend. And they be in the mirror, and sometimes you don't even like yourself. So that yeah. happens to everybody. The experience of black people in America is completely absolutely totally different. Blacks are the only non-immigrants in the country. Blacks are the only people who came here by force. No other people were packed in the holes of slave ships like cargo for months in filth and human waste, human waste and disease, millions, millions being lost in yeah. No other people arrived on American shores to see their women raped and defiled, their men stripped of their manhood and any semblance of dignity. No other people had their heritage culture, religion, name, and the most unifying force of any people their language really beat out of them by the slave master's lack. No other group of people suffered the horrors of plantation and life, working for Pansy in the morning, the Pansy at night, under the overseer's lash. Being forced to watch the slave master hang a young pregnant woman from a tree by her feet, her swollen belly slashed open with a sword, an unborn child brutally snatched from her womb, is hit smashed on the ground, a common practice to instill fear in slaves. No other people saw, right? No other people saw their families torn asunder, their children sold off at the whim of the slave master. No other people suffered the indignity of Jim Crowism, segregation, discrimination, second class citizenship, Malcolm, and legally sanctioned oppression. No other people have been terrorized not only by the Ku Klux Klan. But by my roaring gangs of whites who could be stirred to violence on the strength of a rumor and rampage through black communities, indiscriminately committing murder and destruction with little or no fear of ever being brought to justice. No other people have been lynched, castrated, and mutilated. No other people have been systematically denied the right of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness in America like black people. By all rights of nature, Black people in America, especially those of us who know our history, should be angry, bitter, and murderously thankful. It is a miracle of the creator that we are not. Right. And to add to that, how many Ku Klux, Man, Ku Klux Klan members that you've seen with the hoodie on has ever been arrested? Boy, we can sit here all day figuring out. Uh, uh, right. Stay tuned for Timeless Silence. It's time for me and Joseph Roma to get out of here. Time for quick baby. Yes, it do. And as we always tell you, that's me determines the memory of your life, but you decide who stay. Therefore, value those who value you and keep those as a priority. Who treat you as an option. This has been the open eye. I'm Joseph Roma. Trace me. WACD 95.3. Yeah, Yo, thank y'all for tuning in. Y'all know we go in on Saturdays from 11 to 12. So thank y'all for tuning in. Hey, yo, Anthony, yo, Sergeant Slaughter, Jerry, yo, Vaughn, Vandiver, I mean, everybody that's tuning in. I can't shout everybody out, but yo, thank y'all. 
us. You know what I'm saying, Pat? You got something to say? You got something to say? Yeah, I got something to say. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you learned something today. I hope you listen not only with your ears, but with your mind. Open up. No wrong with streaming everywhere. You dig? All right, all right. Yeah, I got- See y'all next yeah,